Hello students, welcome to the next session. Today we shall be talking about how to create Maven web project using Eclipse and to push them into the GitHub. So in the last session I explained you how to create Maven Java project in Eclipse IDE and uh, how to push it into GitHub. Today I shall be talking about how to create Maven web project. Okay. So uh, in the last session I told you that we, we are using this Eclipse uh, IDE so as to understand uh, how Maven build tool is manually working. So though it is an automatic build tool, we are using this IDE and we are trying to build our project manually to understand uh, the exact Maven build tool procedure. In this uh, concept, today let us understand how to create a web project. For that, let us go to File, click on New and uh, we'll go to Other and we'll select for the Maven project and click on Next. Okay, and then again Next. So I will be searching for uh, the archetype. Uh, if you remember, I told you in the last session, the archetype is basically a template that is uh, given to us which has all the necessary files and folders uh, related to the project. So we will be searching for org.apache.maven. Uh, so why am I giving in this uh, reverse naming uh, domain procedure is I have explained in the last session. Please go through it once again. So this time and make sure that you are uh, removing this checkbox here. Right. And uh, when you scroll down, you will find one archetype which is called as Maven Archetype Web App. Okay, and the version is 1.4. Last time we have created Maven Java project for uh, uh, which we have selected an archetype which is called as Quick Start. That was uh, for a normal Java project, Maven Java project. Now that we are using web application. So this web app artifact basically sets up a project with uh, all the necessary files and uh, folders. Uh, for a web application, okay. It, it also includes web.xml file, which uh, which will make very easy, I mean, which makes our project very easy, and it will be ready for the web server. That is the reason every beginner will start selecting this web app whenever they are trying to develop a web application, okay. So I will click on next, and I will give one name for my project. Say suppose uh, sample Maven web project okay and i'll click on finish now you can see sample maven web project is successfully created here right so you can click on this folder to check what are all there so you click on this src main inside this main you will have index.jsp file so this is a normal html template which will be displayed on the web browser. So you can change the data, whatever you want. So I'll say, hello, welcome to SC Lab 2024. Okay, I will click on all, save all. Now this is saved. The next thing you have is pom.xml. So this is how your pom.xml file will be there. Uh, if you remember, I explained you the, about this template also. It contains the complete configuration details about your project. So if you scroll down, you have dependencies here. So by default, you will be having the JUnit uh, testing dependency already there, right? So what we will do is we will add one more dependency. So I told you dependencies are nothing but the necessary libraries that are needed for your project to run. So manually, we can add dependencies here, right? So generally what happens is just by uh, giving the name. So if you basically right click on your project, okay, and you click on Maven here and you ask for add dependency. So in add dependency, if you just give the name of the library that you want, your uh, Eclipse IDE will automatically search for that library. It will download it and it will add under these dependencies. But since we are trying to learn how to manually work with uh, Maven build tool, we will only search for the dependency in our uh, central library of our uh, Maven. We will get that library and we will paste it in this dependency. Okay, Just to understand how to get the dependencies, where the dependencies are there and all. Okay, So for that, what we have to do is... 
So open your browser, okay, in Google search for servlet API Maven dependency. Okay, it will redirect you to the first Maven repository as you can see here. Click on that. Scroll down. You will find 2.5 version here, which is a standard version. So click on that 2.5. Scroll down. Now this is the dependency as you can see here. Copy this dependency tag. So you can copy here. Copy. Come back to Eclipse. Right? So before this ending tag of this dependency, on the top of it, come and paste it here. Okay, so you can remove all the unnecessary lines also that you want. So I don't want this. Okay, so you can even remove the scope also. Scope is also not needed actually. So we can, it's, it's not mandatory, so you can remove scope also. So just the uh, group ID, the artifact, the version, that would be more than enough. Now the question is, why did I add this Java servlet or the servlet API? So we add the servlet API so our project can talk to the web server. So, so we are generating a web application. So basically we will be creating some, uh, you know, text boxes or some buttons and all, uh, which will be clicking or typing something. That means our application should be talking to the web server. So in order to have that, we, we have to add this uh, dependency, which is called as the servlet API dependency. Okay. So though we are using just hello world program here, uh, in future, if you want to add some cool features to your project, then this particular servlet API is compulsory. Okay. In order to talk to our web server, right? So once we finish uh, adding this dependency, just again, click on save all. Now everything is saved. So once saving all is completed, the next thing we have to do is to build our project. So how do we build our project? So before that, uh, let's look into index.jsp. Yes, it is there. Now I have shown you this pom.xml file also inside which we have added this dependency. So what I will do is I will right click on this project. I will go to run as and the first thing I will do is I will, I will do maven clean. Okay. So uh, make sure that after your Maven clean is selected, uh, you have to get build successful as shown here. Then again, right click, again, go to run as. The next step would be Maven install. So these are basically the build life cycle of your Maven build tool. Clean, install, test, build, all these are the life cycles that are mentioned, okay? Now build success after install is completed. So I told you that uh, clean will remove the previous builds. Install will compile your code that you have written. Now the next one is test. So already you have seen here JUnit uh, dependency is already added. That means JUnit is already pre-installed here. So it will be tested. The code will be tested using the JUnit uh, code. Okay. So let's wait for a build success. Once that is done, again, right click, run as, and this time you have to go for Maven build, right? So under goals, you have to give clean, install, test to make sure that every time the these build steps are followed by anybody who is running this particular project. Click on apply and click on run. Okay, so again, we have to wait for the build success. So once the build will be success, that means your uh, war file will be created. So if you remember in the last class when we have created Maven Java project, jar file was created. So this time in target, you can see that the war file is created because we have created a web application. So what we will do is we will right click and we will run as and now we will say run on server. Right? So... Now it is asking me where I have to deploy this particular project. So I'm selecting Tomcat 9 and I'll say next and I'll say finish. Okay. Restart the server. Say okay. Now you can see that the output of your project will be displayed on the web browser. 
So let's see whether it is being displayed on the web browser or not. It's taking time to restart the server. Just give a uh, one minute of time for it to restart the server. Once the server restarts on your web page, you can see the output of your particular file. So it's loading. You can see hello, welcome to SC Lab 2024. Okay, so this is how we have to create Maven web project, right? So the next thing we will do is to push the project into GitHub. So if you remember, I told you last time how to push the project. Today I will show you one more method how to push, push this particular project into GitHub. So the first thing you have to do is to create a repository. Let me just create a repository saying sample maven web project. Okay, scroll down under git ignore. Make sure you are typing maven. I told you in the last session only why am I selecting this maven so that unnecessary files will not be pushed into your repository and now create repository. Right? The next thing is go back to Eclipse. Now right click on your project and you will have an option called as show in terminal. Under show in terminal click on git bash. So in your terminal the git bash has come here. Now first right do git init. So you have initialized this then check for ls. You can see the project files are available. Git add. Okay. And then say git commit. Git commit hyphen m. Some sample web maven project. You can give any message that you want. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do is to establish a connection between this project to the repository. So what we will do, we will say git remote add origin. Okay, go back to your git bash, copy the URL here, go back to Eclipse and then paste the URL. Click on enter. Now you have established a connection. Simply tell git push hyphen u origin master. Click on enter. So you can see that all the files are successfully pushed into your repository. Just go back to your uh, GitHub. Refresh. You can see that under main you don't have anything. But if you click on this button, you will have a new branch which is called as master. And under master, you have all the project files. Okay, so from master to master, I have given. So if you want to copy it into the main only, then you better follow the previous procedure that I have shown you for Maven Java project. Okay, so this is how we have to create, create a Maven web project, manually build it and push it into GitHub. In the next class, we will see how to work with Jenkins. Thank you.